This video is about asylums in the state of Wisconsin. The viewer can be the judge whether or not these buildings were already present and maybe modified slightly or if they were completely new structures. But most of these buildings were built within the time span of five months to four years. On February 4, 1891, a building commission was appointed responsibility for building an asylum. Within a month, the site for the Dunn County Asylum was selected one and a half miles east of the city of Menominee, whose population was under 25,000. The asylum brought in its first patient on February 10, 1892, which means in 11 months in 1891 to 1892, this building was built with the last three months average high temperature below the freezing point of water. On May 15, 1882, the superintendents of the poor of Greene County entered into an agreement to which in a space of five months a building would be erected to be used as an insane asylum, 68 feet long, 34 feet wide, two stories high, lower story 10 feet high, upper story 9 feet 10 inches. This building opened in 1883, the county population was less than 25,000. On April 18, 1884, William Rahr introduced a resolution in the county board providing for a committee to investigate the expense of maintaining the insane of the county and the probable cost of building an asylum. An asylum was built that summer. On January 17, 1885, the first patients were brought to the asylum. In 1871, construction began on the Winnebago State Hospital. The county had a population of under 50,000 at the time. In 1873, it opened for asylum patients, and in 1875, the building was completed.
The Ladies of Milwaukee's Westside Soldiers Aid Society, already operating hospital on Plankington Avenue in Milwaukee, participated in a 10-day fair in June 1865 to raise money for a permanent Wisconsin soldier's home. In May 1867, the first 36 soldiers moved in to the National Asylum for Disabled Volunteer Soldiers Northwest Chapter. So the narrative goes, without the aid of cars or trucks, and sometimes miles away from railroads, that these buildings were built between a few months and sometimes up to four years. How was this accomplished? especially in the extreme cold of Wisconsin during the winter time. How are they able to build all these buildings, and why would they build all these buildings?